Yo, we welcome y'all to the new DVD Street Hype Instructional Edutainment Video, alright? DVD. This is what's up right now. This is like our first instructional video. We're gonna be dealing with the art of turntablism. This is for all you DJs, you know what I'm saying, that's out there. Let me kind of break down who I am, what I do, and etc. etc. Let me give you a little history. Let me give you a little history. Let me give you a little history. I was taught by um, as far as DJing. First, by my man DJ Bobby B. He was from the Bronx, you know what I'm saying? I think he told me he was to, uh, was showed by uh, DJ Jazzy something up in the Bronx. I can't think of his name, but he one of the old school DJs. And I don't want to name, but then my man DJ Earl B. Um, when I was like 13, I think, or maybe 14, we'll be talking to him later on in this video about turntablism. But my man uh, DJ Earl Beasley, you know what I'm saying? He makes the beats, family. You got the MB3G.com. It's from the Wazz F. But, um, but my man Beasley Nader, he pretty much instructed me, you know what I'm saying? Like a real teacher, you know? He smacked my hands, you know what I mean? If I was doing something wrong, but I was hard headed, and, and I like to do tricks. All right, couple of my elbows, knees, toes, and which that would be in part two and three about advanced skills. All right, but we don't get into that right now. But, you know, he was teaching me the basics of the cuts. I really couldn't scratch at first. I couldn't mix with the damn. You know what I mean? This is real talk. I was a, I was a, a tricks DJ. I was a show DJ. Like I said, I cut on my legs, knee bowls, my, my legs, toes, nose, and elbows. You know what I mean? That's how I got down at that time span. So, you know what I mean? I'm getting ready to go into this is raw footage, man. You know what I mean? I'm keeping it gutter. I ain't trying to make it too fancy because I'm a gutter DJ. You know what I'm saying? I'm from the streets. I'm teaching you street type of styles as well. Look at my phone, family. Y'all cut that right quick. Hold on. Because um, what I'm going to be doing pretty much is um, taking through the basics of uh, scratching, different type of turntables. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, and I'm just going to deal with the basics. I don't even get into the complex stuff because this is for beginners. This is called the beginners video, right? Beginners of DVD. Or the turntable is additional. So we then I'll get into some turntable techniques, alright? So uh, we'll go into this. Hope y'all enjoy this DVD. Like I said, it's a street hype. This is the first edition. It's about turntablism. The turntable. That's what we're gonna deal with first. This one turntable. And see, like I told you, I'm gonna take you back through the basic steps. And this is pretty much how I started off or 20 some odd years, 25 years ago or more. All right? So when I'm gonna start you off on this unit right here, once you get a good look at it, you might can find one of these type of drawing tables from anywhere, fam. You know what I mean? Go to the flea market, anywhere, man. You probably can find one in the dump that works. Cause cats don't even use these joints no more, fam. But these are some joints. You want to get fancy to start off. Like I said, this is the basic instructional video for those who wants to be a DJ. And this is your first time. If you happen to have one of these type of units in your crib, long, I'm going to tell you about it right now. As long as you have, okay, you listening to me? As long as you have an uh, in and output of sound. And I'm going to tell you about that right now. here, right? Okay. This is the plaque and everything. Guess you know that. This is where you put the record. Normally what I would do in a situation like this, I would have some wax paper on this thick pad right here. You know what I'm saying? The new twelves and stuff. You got the pad. Well, this is this is an old school joint fan. You can't even pluck the pad off this joint. So you got to have really some wax paper, okay? And and you use a mat, you know, get your little mat. You know what I'm saying? Hey DJ. You know what I'm saying? So um <clears throat> Then, of course, you will need another tool called a record. Right now, I got some old bull crappy record. You know what I'm saying? It was this Teen, teen Dream produced by Chris Pine. I don't even know who these cats are, all right? But we're going to use that cat, these cats right here, to do some scratching. Because we're going to do some basic scratching on this. You know, we're a beginner in this. We're just learning. We don't have no money in our pockets. How can I afford the equipment? Well, it depends on how determined you is and how bad you want to be a DJ because this is what I started off of 
And I'm mighty sure some of you all out there in the DVD land, you started out the same way if you're from the old school. Now I ain't talking about all this new jack that got the DJ package thing. This right here, I can find one for $10 or $15 at a Goodwill store or like I said, the Salvation Army. And this is how you use this device right here for beginners. All right. Take one speaker. That's all you need, fam. One speaker, because you practice it, fam. You learning about scratching. So you got one speaker we're going to put up here. And, of course, these drones back in the day, you didn't have a lot of fancy hookups in the back. So let me kind of show you what's going on in the back. And I'll give you a you nice close view. On the back of this particular device, they have the spot for your antenna. You know, if you want to, you know what I'm saying, try to get some perception from outside, you can use these devices right here for your antenna uses, all right? And then, right here, my friend, we got speaker right, and we got speaker number left, as you can see, right and left. Okay, when you're using this particular application, you don't have a mixer. You can't afford one, family. So what you want to do is, you're going to take, take a regular old one speaker, all right? Take that one speaker and hook it up either on the right or left. It depends on how you want to start off. All right? This is for beginners, all right? All right? Let me, you can let me see. show you what else. On the front of my device, I got volume. Then I have the balance. See my balance? I can go right or left with this. All right? This can be used at this point as a fader. Let me show you what I mean. Because you only have one speaker hooked up. You don't have one, all right? Because you have that one, you can use your balance, okay? For right or left. And I think we had ours hooked in the uh, right, right. So the right speaker is on, so we're gonna go right, okay? And we're gonna play this joint. Let's see if this thing gonna go down, okay? Let's see if we have any sound. I right, got it. I showed I had some bull crappy record. I should get a hip hop record for real. Alright. Even the fader in this is messed up. Ha, <laughs> you feel me? But um hey man, he posted the cut off. He's not even cutting off. So if you have a crappy one like I do and it don't really want to cut off like it's supposed to, then um hey this is be quiet. You might have to use the volume control. Use the volume control. See that? You know what? Let me come back. Let me go ahead and get a hip hop record. I'll be straight back. Y'all just hold on for one second. Right here, street hype. I'm back on the air, family. I had to get an official record, all right? Right, a minute ago, I didn't have an official record. Now I have an official record. And what we're gonna do is, like I was telling you a minute ago, this is this is the basic turntable. Let me show you again. Show you again. We got the basic turntable up. This is old school, family. I mean, this is really old school that I'm showing you. This is like, like I said, a turntable you could buy from a mom's and pop store for like $10. Goodwill, Salvation Army. It don't take a lot of money to start up to be a DJ, okay? You know what I mean? You just start now, you just want to learn the basics, man. The basics, all right? You don't want to get all complex and spend hundreds of dollars right now. Because you want to make sure there's something you're going to like to do. You know what I mean? But if you want to do it for a little hobby, like I said, like I told you a minute ago, you get some plastic, you normally know, put that up in the air, you put your record. The reason you want to put your plastic up in the air, as well as your felt, you want to use felt. Most people use felt to um, really get down with it. But it's to have that spin in your record. You, you, see how it spins back? See what's going on here? You spin it back, right? That's going to be called catching your record in a minute. All right? So that's why you're going to have your felt. And you don't want it too slip to where it slips real easy. One thing about these old school turntables, you put too much stuff on it, it'd be so slippery, man. It'd be spinning like crazy, and it's going to skip like crazy. All right? So I'm taking you back old school, like I told you a minute ago. And what I was doing was showing you, you hook up one speaker, you know what I mean? And you're going to have the right or left channel, as well as we're getting ready to scratch. I'm going to show you some basic stuff on it. How to use it, this, this, this device right here. Like I said, this is for you, you take, you got your one speaker going, you got your turntable. 
Now we're going to use the volume control buttons, all right? Uh, and, and, and then I'm going to show you something else in a minute. But first, let's just get the focus on the volume control. Uh, we're going to use the volume control as an official fader. I know y'all heard of crossfaders if you've been DJing or looking up on how I'm going to be a DJ or, you know, how to be a DJ or a CDJ. This is no CDs, as you can see. This is the official turntable mode that I'm showing you. And I mean official, family. All right? So we're going to go ahead and we're going to find a sound that we want to cut. We're going to start with this, here we go. And what I'm going to do, this is going to be my fader right here. We'll go all the way to zero and maybe up to three to four, enough to give us some sound. And we just want to do a basic cut. Now, let me show you a close view of what I'm doing. I show you how I did it. The vibe control. We're using the vibe control as a fader right now. It's like a cross fader on a regular mixer. We're using the, the, the fader of an old eight track unit. Or old stereo, uh, phonic, whatever they call it. I'm not good with this English, all right? Y'all y'all got to bear with me, family. Like I said, this is street height. You're dealing with some street road gutter stuff as well as some professional teachings right now. Like I said, I'm trying to teach you all on a level that you might, that you not, might be. not be taught on a, no, on a normal basis because this is abnormal because everybody wants to be fancy. Everybody wants to be bling bling when they show their thing. But I'm here to teach you. Teach you is something different that you don't matter what you're using when you're learning, as long as you learn what you're trying to learn. Today we're learning about the basics of the scratch and the, and the equipment to use. This is instructional video number one, okay? We're gonna get into number two and three, more complex level of DJing. Right now, like I said, we, I'm taking you all the way back to the very, very basics to the old A track unit right here, you know what I'm saying? And the turntable. So let's let's go, let's go find a sound again. Make sure you don't try to battle me no more. Here we go. We say here we go again, alright? Here we go. Now what I'm doing is like you see me fade it out with the volume. Alright, and I just, what I'm doing right now, as you can see, it's called a point. Right now my point is about right here, to me. Some people got it going that way, up and down. Some people got it going different ways. Some people use uh, a marker, some people use stickers. People use different things. For me, I prefer to use, sometimes I like to mark up my records because I'm a, I'm a record collector and you know, wax is getting ready to become extinct. So for me, I take and like to use, you know, what I see right here. I see a marking dude got a face right here already. So I'm just using right here, I'm seeing, I'm keeping my eye on the prize, so to speak. As long as I have a point, if you look at it this way, it don't matter as long as you have a steady point. Now, once you got that steady point, you find out what's called your word. Let's find a word. Here, it starts right here. Here starts right here for me. So, it goes like this. Here we go. Alright? So from, from here to about right here, or from here to right there, it said, here, here we go. You hear that? Here we go. See how the head moves, it's going around, it's going to stop right there, and this is our, our beginning point. You finally always go back to your beginning point. Here we go. Turn it down. Turn it up. Turn it down. Turn it up. Turn it down. Turn it up. Turn it down. Okay? Okay, this is the basic. This is very simple, basic. And like I say, you can do it on any home component of this nature or any other kind. Now, I'm getting to a more complex cut. With the same simple device. Okay, what I'm doing right now, you see where it says selector on your device. You might have different type of devices. Right now you got phono is what I'm on for the phonograph or the turntable. Okay, but the phonograph on here, we're gonna go from phono to tape. See how quick that is versus me going from over here, like over here on the volume control, 
on the vibe control, we had to go from zero to like, you know, three or four. It was, it was a little bit extra movement in the vibe. You see what I'm saying? See that, see that, all that movement? Just to get that word to come out. Here we go. Here we go. You with me? All right, you know how it sounded a minute ago. Okay, now we're going to go back to this, to the selector button. And this is like some of the first transforming sounds. All right? Feel me now. Then we're doing here we go. And I'm using the selector button this time to give me the effect. And we just going, I'm just going to show you first how the selector go, okay? And how we're going on and off from the selected tank uh, point. See, I, I, can, I can just freak it, but I'm still using it. Here we go. But now I'm going to turn it off and on kind of quick to give me like a, a little transforming sound. Check it. I'll show you about that in a minute too. I know some of y'all will trip out about it. It skipped on me, but that's okay. Let's just try this one. Here we, I can do it all, baby. Alright, we're gonna transform it like once again. Hear that? Uh-uh. Alright, then we're gonna show you something about these commentators. Now why I like to tell a person to start off on something like this. On these type of turntables, it's because of the simple fact it gets your hands very light. All right, you start off with something like this, man. You can get on any type of system, and your fingers would be so light. What I mean by light means by how fast and light and gentle you you touch that that wax when you when you get on that turntable. You learn how to cut fast. With this right here, with these needles right here, if you learn how to cut fast with this, then when you get on any other device, it's gonna be easy, fam. I mean, especially that CDJ stuff, I mean, you're gonna be coming up with cuts that nobody else come up because your hands are what's called light. It's like you're barely touching the record because you got to be easy on something like this. It's old, family. So anything old and just like a baby, you guys to be gentle with it, right? You want us to be gentle, and you don't want to be all rough, all right? So what we have here, what I'm going to show you right now, this is a very old, look, all you old school cats, man, if you're watching this, don't be laughing, all right? You know about this, fam. Hold on, wait a minute. Use an old quarter first. Quarter might be too heavy. You might can use a penny. You know what I'm saying? My man old A, A, if y'all know anything about it. Or a nickel. Nickel is kind of heavy. But you don't want it too heavy, it depends on what kind of needles you have. Okay, because your needles could break. There's too much pressure on them. So I'm going to try the old quarter versus the nickel. Alright? That's to give me some extra cushion, some extra friction. You know what I'm saying? They got weights and stuff for, for needles now for the newer turntables and stuff in the back. In the back where you turn the table, you got your weights in the back. We'll show you on that on instructional video number two. Well, on the, on the next section of the next uh, turntable level. All right? This is the basic turntable. So what we have here, we have the big knob right here. But we don't have that on this. This is old school. We had to go to the Salvation Army, Goodwill, somewhere to find us a turntable to learn how to DJ. That's what we're using, all right? So what we have right now, We'll use the old, old school transforming thing. All right, now let's try it. We got a little extra weight now. Put the old cord on there. We're gonna use the old click on and off selector. And I'm just going back and forth with it right now. I'm just going just like that and going back to my point. Remember, we got a starting point of the record. It depends on how you look at the record. People look at the record different ways. But for me, I'm looking at it like right here or either right here for me. And, and I see where my star I'm pointing at. Ah! You know what I'm saying? And I just go around with it. Ah! See, that's all I'm doing, really. But now I'm just going to go back and forth and I'm going to cut the switch off. It's going to give me a type of transform just like I would on a regular fader. But it's very basic.
Y'all got that? All right, very basic. I hope y'all enjoyed this first segment, this first little piece. We're going to a, 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 a piece, we're going to a, um, a commercial, so to speak. You know what I mean? A little video, you know what I'm saying, footage. I hope y'all enjoyed this first piece. And this first piece, once again, let me give y'all a little, little funkiness with it. Rock it one time and show you how to rock an old school turntable. You know what I mean? With the old cord on top, you know what I mean? No weights, none of that. Your weight is your money right now. So money in the bank. Y'all with that? All right, man. That's what's up with this turntable right here. It's a very old school, basic turntable. Like so I said, I'm gonna hook it up right here in the back. One speaker. Remember, each one of these can be used as like a fader. This is one type of fader. It's like if you would buy a fader, a cross fader or a mixer. This becomes your mixer now because you got one speaker hooked up. Use your balance. I had my right speaker hooked up, so that means if when I go to the left, it should cut it off, you know what I mean? But mine was a little, had a little, little shortage in it, but it's all good, this is old school. And then, the more transforming type, if you wanna do some type of transforming, basic transform, like old school transform type of cuts, you use this right here, your selector, and it's more quicker to cut on and off, as you can see. See how much quicker that is, and I can really get some flavor with it. But you gotta work with it. And like I said, I normally like to start my, my students off on something very basic and simple as this. Because, in like, oh yeah, one more good thing. Always remember, keep you some change in your pocket, okay? Because you're gonna have to change up sometime. And, and this is your waist, you know what I mean? It becomes your waist, man. This is what's called a straight arm turntable. What I'm ready to go into now, what we're ready to go into next, I'm gonna give you this S arm. This is when the S arm turntable come out. Once again, it's not the Technique 1200 yet. Okay, we ain't got that. We ain't that advanced yet. We're beginners, and we and we starting on some beginner stuff that you can afford if you're from the hood or wherever. Like I said, you go anywhere and purchase one of these. Or somebody will give you one of these, man. For real. But we're we'll gonna go into this we'll deep into this, this video, this video right, right now. And I hope y'all enjoy this first segment. And we get in this segment that we're getting ready to go into now, we're gonna be dealing with mainly, you know what I'm saying, the S arm turntable. We just now dealt with this uh, straight arm ghetto turntable with the fat cord on it. You know what I mean? Practicing, man. All right? You don't have to get fancy. This is street hype. This is MB3G. You got that, J? MB3G.com. Keep it moving. 